How can someone be this dishonest? Oh my goodness. So Jason Whitlock is emblematic of one of the severe reoccurring problems within the Republican Party, within black conservatives, black Republicans, or whatever, you know, whatever selling tickets nowadays, okay, because it's all marketing. And that is, they seem to always belittle, deride, and demean black Americans, their own people, at the behest of white Republicans, at the behest of, of, of white Republican validation, adulation, because more often than not, they are pretty much the, the, the mouthpiece for white Republicans, because if they weren't, they, white Republicans would have no use for them, okay? The whole purpose of, of black conservatives or black Republicans is to say what white Republicans, white Republicans couldn't say or else they would be deemed racist. So they are essentially a black face with a white brain because all their narratives, all their talking points are delivered to them, okay, on a silver platter by white Republicans because they can be a useful idiot. Now, the problem with that is, well, it's a very lucrative business. As we can see with many of the black Republicans, many of the black libertarians, uh, many of the black conservatives and yada, yada, yada. All they want to do, you know, make sure that they're black. So that way they can talk about Chicago and the black community and, uh, and Planned Parenthood and all the things that many white Republicans want to talk about. Jason Woodlock recently had a, a segment where he talks about as reparations or entitlement, okay? And you're not entitled to anything. Entitlement uh, uh, breeds, you know, uh, complacency and laziness, whatever. And he goes on to say, America doesn't owe me anything. I owe America something, okay? I owe my, my ancestors something. And it's a, it's a means to get uh, uh, compensation for, for, for uh, uh, work you didn't do. Monday night, a white woman tried to slap some sense into CNN hostess Don Lemon. She took him to school on the whole notion that ancestors of black slaves are owed reparations. Reparations are an entitlement. They're rooted in the desire to be compensated for the oppression suffered by others. Entitlement handicaps the mind and undermines productivity. America does not owe me. I owe America. I owe my ancestors. The same goes for Don Lemon and everyone else. Now, the reason why this is so completely asinine, the reason why this is so intellectually dishonest, the reason why this man is one of a, the, I would think he's probably one of the biggest Sambos out there to date. I don't know anyone who's bigger, like in size uh, than him. And I mean, specifically in size. Mass, I think he's the biggest Sambo that I'm aware of. But the fact is, that it has to do with, uh, <laughs> it has to do with your lineage, right? The whole FBA, ADOS, that's all having to do with your lineage as far as you're a descendant of slaves, okay? It's not, uh, it's not, it's not our fault that America was so racist that they chose to wait hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years to pay reparations for, for, for slave labor that contributed greatly to, to building up and the foundation of this country. Every other group has been compensated for their labor. The only group that America seems to have a problem with are black Americans. That's the only group. When it came to the Japanese, when it came to the, to, to the Jews, when it came to the Native Americans, no problem. Hell, when it even came to the white farmers, no problem. But when it comes to black Americans, there seems to be some, some racist chip with inside them that causes them to lose their minds, even though they're completely ignorant of any historical significance of reparations. This big buffoon had a, had a conversation with Dr. Boyce Watkins on the same issue, on reparations. Tell me why reparations are a solution and a, even a real possibility for black people here in America the wealth gap and the fact that whites hold so much of the wealth, this didn't happen because white people are smarter and harder working. Uh, it's because uh, so much wealth was taken from us, starting with our bodies all the way down to our assets. Uh, I believe the reparations are old because they're old. Uh, you cannot pretend like, you know, just because we don't think reparations will solve every problem, that does not mean that that money's not old. 
and it's a, it's an unfortunate type of paternalism that says, well, we know they're going to waste that money anyway, so we might as well not give it to them. That's what they used to say about college athletes and why they wouldn't pay them a fair wage, and even though they're making billions of dollars from them or whatever. So it's not like he's just he's just ignorant, and at this point, it'd be willful ignorance. At this point, this is precisely what I'm talking about, where they are paid to be a mouthpiece. Because upon Dr. Boyce Watkins explaining to him very, very well in depth as far as how it's a debt that is owed, do you want to know with this tap dancing uh, 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 individual said? He says, well, well, well I, I, I see it from well, well, how white people say it. I kid you not, bruh. I kid you not. I, I think that white people have an argument like, I, I think that white people have an argument like, I, I think that white people have an argument like. That is, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So when you see many, if not 99.9% .9 of these black conservatives, these black Republicans, whatever they want to call themselves, libertarians, that's a new hustle where it's like, well, I'm not for either side. I'm for this. It's all a hustle. It's all marketing. When you see this, listen to what they're saying and understand they are nothing more than a mouthpiece for the dominant society. They are a mouthpiece for the dominant group within the Republican Party, which is white. That's what they are for, okay? And the majority of white people don't know anything about reparations and don't care about anything about reparations because it does not benefit them, okay? It does, but that's a long story to try and get them to that, get them, you know, to that road. Hell, many black people don't know very much about reparations, okay? So you have to understand there's a lot of willful ignorance that wants to be bolstered by black faces. And that's why I say Jason Whitlock is the most intellectually dishonest individual um, that I've come across who is, who is trying to, to spin reparations as entitlement. That is, that is a level of tap dancing, man, that, that, that's, it's gotta be up there with the greats. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas, 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 I, I agree with Jason Woodlock, okay? It's absolutely entitlement, all right? Or if you can't believe, hey, hey, tell me you're a Sambo or a non-black person uh, without telling me you're a Sambo or a non-black person. Now, if you happen to disagree with this video, well, you're in luck because today's disagreement day. And disagreement day is held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, la, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. I, I think that white people have an argument like,